and welcome to another episode of Wildlife Crystal. I'm your host, Wildlife Crystal, a wild animal specialist. As you know, on the show, Wildlife Crystal, we are going to be learning fun facts about one animal and their environment every episode. I'm here with my very special co-host, the one and only Kaya the Koala. You know what I've been practicing a lot? No. Tell me. My jump. Mm -hmm. I'm getting very good at jumping. Oh yeah, I can jump at least two feet high. Okay, good for you, Kaya. Actually, our next animal that we're going to learn about today can jump as high as 20 feet in the air, which is about four of me. Keep talking. Well, by jump, I mean leap out of the water doing flips and turns and tricks too. Their name starts with a D. Can you guess the animal? Hmm, a water animal that starts with a D? Is it a duck? They swim in the water. No, not a duck. But you're right, ducks swim in the water. But this animal lives in the water. It's a dolphin! And we're specifically a bottlenose dolphin. <coughs> oh, I can't wait to learn about dolphins. They are so cool. I couldn't agree more. Let's dive right in. There are many different species of dolphins, and they live in almost all the world's seas and oceans, and some live in rivers, too. Worldwide, bottlenose dolphins can be found in the Mediterranean and the Black Seas, as well as the southwestern Indian Ocean. In the Pacific Ocean, they range from northern Japan and central California to Australia and Chile. Okay, first things first. I heard dolphins are some of the smartest animals in the world. Is that true? You are so right. Dolphins are so smart. They have the second largest brain compared to their body mass of any animal on Earth. Bottlenose dolphins are one of the few species, along with apes, humans, and as I mentioned before, elephants, that have the ability to recognize themselves in the mirror. That means dolphins are self-aware. That's a trait that is considered to be a sign of highly developed thinking. Also, Dolphins are among the few animals that have been documented using tools. That's a big deal. For example, dolphins were seen putting marine sponges over their mouths, also known as their beaks, to protect them from the rocks as they look for fish in the reefs. Tell us another fun fact about bottlenose dolphins. Not only are they smart, but also emotionally intelligent. Bottlenose dolphins have the longest social memories of any non-human species in the world. For example, they are able to recognize the unique whistles and sounds of individual dolphins they knew even after 20 years from being separated from them. Wow, they really are smart. Are dolphins mammals? Yes, they are. We are too. How do you know if an animal is a mammal? There are five main traits to know if an animal is a mammal. I'll list them and then explain. Okay, all mammals, one, are warm-blooded, two, breathe oxygen from lungs, three, give birth to live young, four, produce milk to feed their young, and five, have hair. So one, all mammals are warm-blooded. That means we naturally keep a constant body temperature. For example, for a dolphin, that means that they stay warm even though the water temperatures around them are really cold. Two, all mammals breathe oxygen through lungs. Unlike other animals like fish who breathe through gills, humans and dolphins need to breathe oxygen from their lungs. Dolphins have blowholes on their backsides and they close them while diving and then open them at the surface for air. Three, mammals give birth to live young, unlike other animals like birds alligators and frogs who lay eggs. Mammals like humans and dolphins give birth to live young. Dolphin babies are called calves, and they stay close to their mothers for a few years after they're born, before venturing off on their own. Although some calves will stay with their mothers for a whole lifetime. So four, mammals produce milk and nurse their young. Even underwater, mother dolphins give birth to their babies, just like human mothers give milk to their babies. And five, all mammals have body hair, unlike other animals like birds who have feathers. Even dolphins have hair. 
Doesn't look like it, but they do. On their beak or their mouth. Wait, I'm a mammal, right? Well, let's go through the list. If you can answer yes to all five traits, then you're a mammal. Let's start with the first one. Are you warm-blooded? Do you breathe oxygen through your lungs? Do koala mothers give birth to live young? Do koala mothers produce milk to feed their babies? And lastly, do koalas have hair or fur? Yes to all of those questions. I guess I am a mammal. Okay, can we have one more fun fact about dolphins before we have to go? Sure. One of the most fascinating things about these marine mammals is their complex way of communication. Dolphins can make squeaks and buzzes and whistles and clicks and many other fun noises. They can also slap the water surface with their tails and their bodies to communicate. Dolphins' whistles and sounds can be heard under the water for miles away. Dolphins who bond with one another can learn each other's signature whistles too. <laughs> wow, there's so much to learn about dolphins. We've only cracked the surface. Please tell me these smart and loving creatures are not under threat. Unfortunately, dolphins are under threat worldwide. Mainly, these threats are caused by humans. Two of the biggest issues that dolphins face is entanglement in fishing gear and nets and pollution. You see, dolphins like to eat the same kinds of fish that commercial fishing ships are hunting for too, and the dolphins get caught in their nets. Very sadly, every time a commercial fishing boat pulls up their huge nets, one third of that catch is what's called bycatch. Bycatch is anything in the net that wasn't meant to be there. For example, bycatch can be dolphins, seals, sea turtles, octopus, and sharks. These animals were accidentally captured and these oversized nets are so awful and any animal that is in there cannot survive because there's just too much pressure. This is an unsustainable way to fish. If something is sustainable, that means that we use that resource in such a way that it will continue to be available in the future. So if humans continue to fish in this unsustainable way, then every animal, including us, will have an empty, unhealthy ocean. This leads me to my next point about what you and your family can do now to help dolphins and all animals of the oceans. Make sure that when you and your family eat fish or any seafood, that it's sustainably caught. It will usually say it on the package, or someone can help you at the store you shop and buy your food. Also, you can encourage your friends and family to only eat local or seasonal fish. You can also make sure that your fish was lime caught. That way you know they didn't use those awful huge fishing nets. Every little thing you do counts. It's up to us, the future generation, to make sure that all these animals have a place to live. Let's all work together to make sure that animals and humans live in harmony. Let's always be kind and respectful to every creature on this planet. And now, it's question time. Mm, mm, mm. Kaya, are you as excited as I am to put the knowledge we learned today to the test? I sure am. True or false? Bottlenose dolphins have the second largest brain compared to their body mass of any animal. The correct answer is true. Dolphins are some of the most intelligent animals in the world. What are the traits that make an animal a mammal? Is it A, that they have hair or fur, B, that they are warm-blooded, C, that they breathe oxygen with lungs, or D, all of the above? The correct answer is D, all of the above. All mammals have these traits. What is a baby dolphin called? A, a calf, B, a joey, C, a cub, or D, a duckling? The correct answer is A, a calf. You guys did great. Kaya and I have to go, but we will be learning fun facts about another animal next week. See you next time on Wildlife Crystal. Bye. Bye, guys. Thanks for coming around. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>